hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel get ready to learn how to make this beautiful tuck cinched waist jumpsuit in my previous tutorial i made this jumpsuit but i used a pattern fabric and i did a freehand cutting tutorial so a lot of people complained that they couldn't see the lines i was drawing so i decided to make another tutorial but using a pattern paper now if this seems like something you're interested in keep on watching and let's dive right into this tutorial To recreate this style, you'll be needing about 4 yards of fabric. Unless the person is on a way bigger size, then you'll be needing more than 4 yards of fabric. So I'll be using this beautiful stripe fabric to recreate mine. And you can use any fabric of your choice. You can use crepe, you can use Ankara, you can use silk, you can use duchess. This style is very versatile, so the choice of fabric is not limited. For the course of this tutorial, I'll be using a pattern paper because I want you guys to see everything I'm doing. Come down from the top of your pattern paper by about 0.5 inch and draw a straight line across. Now this is going to serve as your starting line which is also the shoulder line. The next line we are going to be drawing is going to be the crotch extension line. Now because this is a jumpsuit, 3 inches is going to be okay for a lot of sizes and that is including the stitching allowance. So from the center front, mark 3 inches and mark that across your pattern paper this way and connect it with a straight line. You will notice that my pattern paper is short and is obviously not long enough to contain my full jumpsuit length. This right here is going to contain from my shoulder to my lap line measurement which is our main focus on this pattern paper so I will be using it like this and I will be cutting out the full length later on on my fabric. You can also draft this out directly on your fabric to avoid the stress of transferring some measurements later on on the fabric. Make sure that all your measurements are starting from this line. Now from here come in by 3.5 inches for your neck width and from the same point you come down by about 7.5 inch for your neck depth. You can also do 7 inches then connect this together using your curve. For the back neckline using the same neck width come down by about 1.5 inch for the neck depth and connect this with a curve. Now I'll be leveling this the front neckline and the back neckline. From the same point, mark half of your shoulder measurement, for me it is 8 inches. And then from that point, you are going to determine how long you want your sleeve to be. For me, I will be using 11 inches. Come down by about 1 inch from that point and this is going to serve as your shoulder slope. Now connect this into the neckline. I will just be outlining my neckline so they are visible. To mark other measurements, place your tape at your starting line. The first line you'll be marking is going to be your shoulder to your bust point. For me, it's 11 inches. I'm going to mark this on both sides. And then, the next is the shoulder to the waistline. For me, it's 16 inches. Now, I'm going to connect these points with a straight line. The next measurement you'll be marking is going to be your waist to hip line. So place your tape there at the waistline and mark down your waist to hip line measurement. For me it's 8 inches and I'm going to mark that on both sides. Now the next measurement you are going to mark is going to be the crotch depth line. To get your crotch depth you have to divide your hip measurement by 4. You can see what I have there is about 10.75. Now you are going to add extra 2.5 to 3 inches because this is a jumpsuit. Okay, to be on the safe side, you can just add 3 inches. For me, I have about 12.75 here. So I'll just be approximating this to 13 inches. So placing my tape there at the waistline, I'm going to mark down 13 inches for my crotch depth line. And then I'm going to connect this with a straight line. So I'll just be labeling my lines. This place here is the crotch extension. This is my bust point. This is the waistline, my hip line, and then the crotch length. Now, because of the style we are creating, you won't be necessarily needing to mark your bust point measurement. Now, coming to the waistline, divide your round waist by four. For me, it's 8 inches and also make sure you are taking your measurements after the crotch extension. 
to the waistline measurement we'll be adding extra inches and this extra inches is going to be for the tucks okay so for me i'll be adding extra eight inches you can use six if you do not want yours to be as big as mine after marking the eight inches i'll be marking one inch for the stitching allowance now coming to the hip line divide your hip measurements by four for me it's 10 and i'm also going to add my eight inches excess and i'll be adding stitching allowance which is one inch now i'm going to take whatever i have there on my hip line and i'm going to be marking the same thing on my crotch depth line now that i'm done with this coming to this area here you are going to determine how big you want your sleeve opening to be for me i'll be using about nine inches so starting from the shoulder slope i'm going to mark down nine inches and then i'm going to connect this into the shoulder slope what you'll be doing now is to connect a curve from this point into your waistline i made a mistake there and i connected it into this line instead of this point here so i'm just going to correct that and cancel this other one and from the waistline you connect it into the hip line and then into the crotch depth line and i will extend whatever i have there to the length of my pattern paper now that we are done with that coming to the center front i'm going to be extending this crotch depth line into the crotch extension like this what you'll be doing here is to create your curve and to do that coming from this point you are going to come up by about 1.25 inch now using your curve you're just going to connect a curve back into this line just like this you can see how i did mine here so now just go ahead and connect this line to the neckline then you connect from the crotch depth to the length of the pattern paper i'll just be outlining my waistline this way and then from the waistline come up by about three inches i'm going to just mark that across to get a straight line and i'll connect this together then downwards you'll come down by about two inches and connect it together now i changed my mind and i decided to make it three inches downwards so i'll be using three inches downwards also instead of two inches now to create the talks i'm going to explain this in the easiest way possible so please pay close attention now remember that when we were drafting out this pattern on the waistline i added an excess of eight inches now this eight inches is the excess of what i have on my waistline whatever i do i need to pleat out these eight inches to give me back my exact waist measurement if you use six inches six inches is going to be the excess of what you have on your waistline and you need to pleat out six inches from your waistline to give you back your exact waist measurement i hope this is clear the first thing you are going to do is to take out your stitching allowance so you don't include it in what you are pleating i added one inch stitching allowance so to the center front i'm going to take out half inch just on these three lines and i'm going to connect them with a straight line on this other side i'm also be taking out half inch and i'll connect them together note that this is because i added a one inch stitching allowance so i'm marking out half inch on both sides okay now that we are done taking out the stitching allowance you're going to take the measurements of what you have there on your waistline after taking out the stitching allowance and you will notice that what you have left is your waist measurement and the excess of what you added and you can see there for mine it is 16 inches now i'm going to just note the excess of my tucks which is 8 inches and i want to divide what i have here on my waistline by 4 i'm just going to take the measurement of what i have there again which is 16 now i'm using four inches because of the number of pleats i want to use you could use less or more if you want more pleats or if you want less pleats now after dividing that i have four inches now after the stitching allowance i'm going to mark four inches to divide what i have there and then i'm going to connect this point with a straight line you can see that i've successfully divided this into four i'll just be labeling that a b c and d now that we have our blocks into four you will notice that the line we have here is three lines excluding the stitching allowance now this is one two three lines so what you are going to do here now is to divide the excess you have for me it is eight inches by these three lines okay 
so what i have here is about 2.7 inches now this 2.7 inches we are going to be sharing it to both sides of these lines we have here therefore you have to divide it by two okay just follow what i'm doing and you will understand this so after dividing that by two i have about 1.3 inches now i'm going to mark 1.3 inches on both sides of these lines and i'm going to connect them with a straight line i should have used a pencil for this so this will differentiate the main lines from the other two lines So what you will just be doing here basically is to take up the middle lines, stitch down the two side lines together. After doing this, you are going to eliminate the excess inches you added, therefore leaving you with your exact waist measurement. I will just be labeling the center lines, big A, B and C. And the other two small lines, I will be labeling them small A, small B and small C. So basically what I'll do is to take up the big C, stitch down the small C's together, take up the big B, stitch down the small B's together and do the same thing to A. I hope this is clear. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. The next thing we'll be doing is to draft out the back pattern. Note that the difference between the back and the front pattern is we have to increase the crotch extension at the back. We also have to impute our zipper allowance. Now for the crotch extension at the back, just add 3 inches, okay? So I'm going to mark 3 inches across and I'm going to connect with a straight line. Unless the person have a way bigger butt, then you might want to increase that to 4 inches or 4.5 inches the person, depending on how big the person is come down by about half inch from the top of your pattern paper and rule a starting line there now bring in your front piece and place it on the back piece like this make sure that you place it after the crotch extension line align it properly and then pin it down i'll just be labeling this part the back crotch extension now i'm going to extend this crotch depth line into the back crotch extension like this what we'll be doing here is to draw the back crotch curve now also extend the hip line into the back piece like this then coming in from the hip line mark out 1.5 inches using your curve rule just draw a curve into your crotch extension line this way now the next thing you are going to do is to mark your zipper allowance I already did that here, not knowing that my camera wasn't recording. But what I did was I determined how long I wanted my zipper to be. So I marked that at 19 inches there. And then for the zipper space, I used one inch for the zipper allowance. And then I marked that straight down to where I want my zipper to stop. Now I'm just going to connect that back into my crotch curve like this. Extend your waistline so we can do a zipper tightening here. For the zipper tightening, you're going to come in from here by 0.5 inch and mark that. I'm just going to use my ruler to outline this point here so I can also take in 0.5 inch on the other side. So coming in from that point there, also mark 0.5 inch. You're going to connect this 0.5 inch upward. And then you're going to connect it back into the crotch curve just like this. You are going to be doing the same thing on the inner side, connect it upward and then just roughly connect it into this crotch curve on the front side. Now that you are done with that, you will also be extending these other lines into the back piece, okay? So extend the lines into the back piece here and on the other side also. Now just go ahead and cut out your pattern paper just like I'm doing here. Now I'm just going to take out my front piece and what I'll be doing here is exactly what we did for the front. Now remember we already came in by half inch on this side. We'll just be taking out half inch on this other side here. So what I have left here is 16 which is my waistline and the excess I'm going to be pleating out. Okay, so I'm going to divide this by 4. So I'm going to divide this by 4 by marking 4 inches.
i'll be labeling this one two three and four and just like we did for the front i have three lights here as you can see so i'm going to say eight divided by three and this is going to give me 2.7 we're dividing that by two to mark it on both sides of these lines so i have 1.3 inch after dividing it by two so i'll be marking 1.3 inches on both sides of all these three lines i have here and i'll be connecting it together but this time around i'll be using my pencil so you can see the difference clearly now i'm going to be labeling the center lines big in capital letter the lines i drew with pencil i'm going to label them with small letters so basically what we'll be doing here is to take the big letter stitch down the small letters together pick up the big b stitch down the small big together and we're doing the same thing to a now we are done with this what we need to do is to go ahead now and cut this out on our fabric if you already did it on your fabric it is perfect okay so bringing in my back piece i'm going to place it on my fabric this way and i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out as you can see here i made sure that i completed the length of my jumpsuits on my fabric just like i explained earlier now i'm just going to go ahead and cut out every other part I'll be cutting out the front piece also. Do not forget you are cutting out two pieces for your back piece and two pieces for your front piece. And also remember to notch each of these points. Notch your waistline, the upper point here and the one down there. And make sure to notch it on the other side. Okay? That is if you use the pattern paper. So I'm notching it so I'll know where all these points are when I'm creating my tucks. The next thing you are going to do is to cut out a facing for your neckline. I would advise that you cut out the facing for the neckline separately before joining them together. This is going to help to prevent gaping, okay? I'll just be creating a curve inside to give a clean finish. Now what I'm going to do is to place this facing on the neckline, right sides facing each other. I'll pin this down and I'll be stitching this down using half inch stitching allowance. And I'll be doing this on all the pieces that I cut. So after stitching this down, you can notice here that I've already gone ahead to stitch it down towards the facing to keep it in place. Now what you'll be doing here is to put your hemming gum in between the facing and the main fabric and iron it down. This is going to help your facing to stay in place and this is going to help to give you a clean finish. After doing that, you can see how beautiful this came out. You can see what I have here. Now you can now go ahead and join the two front pieces together. So I'm going to place them right sides facing each other. And I'm going to stitch down from this point here into the crotch curve. For the back piece, I also attached my facing for the neckline just the same way I did for the front piece. For the back piece here, what we'll be doing here is to insert our zipper. So take the measurement of where you want your zipper to stop. For me, it's 18 inches. So I'll just note that. I will insert my zipper all the way to this point, And then I will stitch down the remaining of what I have all the way into my crotch curve. After inserting my zipper, you can see how beautiful this came out. After doing that, the next thing we'll be doing is to create the tucks. And this is pretty easy. All you will be doing here is to transfer what I have here on this pattern paper to my fabric. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it down just like I explained earlier. As you can see here, I have transferred the tucks to the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm just going to go to my machine and stitch this down just like I explained earlier. After stitching down the tucks, you can see how beautiful this came out. You can see how cinched the waist looks. I've also done the same thing on the front piece. Now I'm just going to place them right sides facing each other. And the first thing I'm going to do here is to stitch them down together at this crotch area here. So I'm just going to place the front and the crotch area together. And I'm going to stitch it down this way using half inch stitching allowance. And also stitch down the other side together using half inch stitching allowance. 
when you are done with that you place them together at the shoulder and you are going to stitch them down at the shoulder using half inch stitching allowance then you will now go ahead and hem the sleeves now if you don't want to insert any pockets to this you will just go ahead and stitch down from the sleeve all the way to the length of the fabric using half inch stitching allowance or the stitching allowance you used okay and then hem the ends of your jumpsuit but if you want to insert the pocket what i did here was this is what i had left for my client's material so i just folded that into four and then i'm going to be dividing that just like i'm doing here After dividing that you can see that i have four pieces of this two on both sides of the pocket so what i'm going to do here now is to bring in my fabric you can see here that i've stitched down the crotch area i've stitched down the shoulders and i've hemmed my sleeves so now i'm going to first of all determine where i want my pocket to start and i'll be doing that at about 16.5 inches i'll just mark that there i'll bring in my pocket to measure how open how long it is and what i have here is about seven inches so from this point i'll mark down seven inches which is going to be the opening for my pocket so i'm going to create a stitch from the sleeve all the way into this point i'll be leaving this place open for the pocket and i'm going to stitch down what i have left there and when you are done with this go ahead and hem the ends of your sleeve and that will be all for this tutorial we have come to the end of this tutorial guys i hope this tutorial was really helpful and i hope you understand this tutorial please make sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel share this to family and friends who you think we need this and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial